A patient today stated that they were having difficulty with focus and they wondered if they had ADHD. Specifically, they were hoping to be prescribed a stimulant medication for their symptoms. When I asked about what had been going on with their ability to focus, they stated that um, for the last couple of weeks, they were having a very hard time sitting and focusing on the work that they needed to do. And this really hadn't been much of a problem in the past. But they said that they had done a questionnaire online and they felt that they pretty much checked all the boxes, as I put it, for having ADHD and they wanted treatment uh, for their symptoms. When I asked them, well, it sounds like this is relatively new. Did something happen a couple of weeks ago? They told me that they had a recent breakup with their significant other and that their work situation had gotten a little bit worse in terms of the volume of work that they had to do. And so they were feeling more stressed. And I asked them again, so the symptoms really became a problem when kind of coinciding with this breakup and coinciding with the increased demands at work and the conflict that you were having at work with your superior. And they said yes. This is something that happens actually a lot with private practice psychiatry, and it can be really um, frustrating for patients, um, but also kind of tough for providers too, because in this instance, in my opinion, if this individual did not have symptoms of ADHD prior to a significant stressor or trigger, um, and then after that trigger, they develop symptoms of ADHD, that's not ADHD. What that is, is that someone's having difficulty with focus because they're stressed out or because something happened that's upsetting to them. Something happening like a breakup or something happening like conflict at work with a superior absolutely would affect someone's focus. And I believe that's actually a normal response to a life event. And one should not treat normal responses to life events with medications and with medication management, whether it's for ADHD, whether it's for sadness after the, immediately after the loss of a loved one with no history of depression, whether it's regarding anxiety, um, when they're going through something that's causing them to feel stressed, but they've never had difficulty with anxiety before and the anxiety is pretty proportional to what's going on. Um, these are things that, you know, again, that can be really frustrating to patients because they seem to have an expectation that everyone needs to be uh, medicated or take a medication for their symptoms. But this is why you really need to see a mental health professional to tease out, is this actually an illness? Is this something that we can treat and that it's reasonable to treat medically? Or is this really, um, someone's response to a situation that really probably would benefit with a little bit of time uh, and or psychotherapy. Psychotherapy in the situations can be extremely helpful. Obviously some individuals might have different views about this video um, and this video is meant to be informative only. It's meant to increase the narrative and just discussion about mental health topics and if you believe this video does pertain to you in some way and you want to know more about your own difficulties with focus, for example, or what have you, then you really want to reach out to a mental health professional to discuss directly.